which is one of the most difficult topics that people usually find. So what are the basics? So we know that int float long care. So these are the basic types of variables. Now looking at memory map. So if I define int i is equal to 10 and int j is equal to 5, what happens is that we have memory in computer let's say the memory is 0x 100 0x 104 0x 108 so now these are the let's say the memories that are available and when I say int i is equal to 10 so i now is stored here in the this place and it is made equal to 10 so this is variable i this is its memory location and here it is stored next variable is j so the next available space is 0x104 so it stores the value 5 and it is assigned to j so now the thing is that we see so these in the computer so a computer has memory so where all the variables are stored now the thing is how to access i have the value of i which is 10 but how to access its memory location for any reason if we want so for that we define pointer and it is written like int star pointer to integer then we should initialize it with as we are pointing it to memory location where in variable i is stored so i will write it as ampersand i so this means that pi is a variable whose value is equal to 0x100 which is the memory location where i is stored now how to access the so pi is the pointer so we know that okay the value of the memory location where i is stored is 0x100 now how to find the value that is stored in the memory location where pi is pointing so we do a dereferencing of the pointer and this is called this star pi is equal to the value stored in the memory location of 0x100 which is equal to 10 so now let's see so let's move on to the next thing that what happens if i now do pi is equal to ampersand j so and so now let's see so what will happen if we have a pointer so we had pointer to i we made it equal to ampersand of j so it 
means now whatever the value that was there so pi so j is the value and let's say it was 0 x 104 and the value was say 5 so now pi will become equal to 0 x 104 and star of pi will become equal to this is about basic pointer so we should remember pointer stores the memory location of variables so next thing is about pointer If I have let's say integer array, so we have six values so 1, 32, 46, 16, 10, and 5. And let's say this integer is array is ARR, and we have six values in it. And let's say this is the memory location. array name it is pointing to the array itself so if I want to make an array int star p a r r and make it equal to ampersand a r r 0 so this means now I'm pointing to the first element of this array so what does pointer arithmetic mean now so it means if I do P A R R plus say 2 so it will point now to not 100 plus 2 which is 102 but it will point to two elements that are next to it so it is right now P A R R is here it goes to this one it goes to this one and now P a r r plus 2 will be equal to ampersand of a r r of 2 so this is about pointers and how the plus minus happens so if we have p a r r 1 which is again a pointer and we make it point to percent a r r 0 